Good afternoon. We are back today in the lovely village of Cookfield, where we're delighted to be taking on a wonderful five bedroom, semi-detached Edwardian home called Woodside. Uh, Woodside is located off Broad Street, just opposite here, you've got the Wheat Chief pub, cracking pub, biggest one in the village. And just up the road there to the left, where you've got Hatchgate Lane, that leads down to Blunt's Wood, where it's a very short walk into Haywards Heath Rail Station. You're of course here as well, very close to Warden Park Secondary School and Holy Trinity Primary School. But I'm sure many of you watching this video by now know all the merits and benefits of Cookville Village and especially the spot in which this house lies. But come with me as I take you to Woodside. So the first thing to point out is the house is located down this driveway here. So it's really tucked away quite far off what is, you know, a busy road in Broad Street. Um, so that's one of the real appeals of this house. It's very hard to find, it's very tucked away. And it owns all this driveway going up to Broad Street. So if you follow me, we'll walk down the house, the, the driveway, sorry. Now the house to the left called Craven Cottage, they have a right of access um, over this drive. And the house to our right here, where this back gate is, they have a pedestrian right of way to come out of their back gate and walk back up the side to the main road. But it's my house, Woodside, which owns the entire driveway, uh, which of course is most beneficial. So coming down the road here, you'll see it's the house on the right hand side, which we are selling called Woodside, five bedroom Edwardian semi-detached. And one of the first things to point out with this home is the owner has built this really lovely oak framed double sort of carport stroke workshop. So one half is for the car, the other half is a workshop. So you've got parking in there, minimum of uh, two stroke three further cars in front of the garage. And you have the area, uh, the side area here of the garage as well, which you could probably get another car on or create more storage. Um, I'll just poke the camera quickly into the garage. So parking on the right hand side, and then through this oak door into a workshop. So very handy addition indeed. So coming down the driveway, <clears throat> we come to the pathway here and this is where you access Woodside. <clears throat> so initially we come onto the patio area here it is a predominantly west-facing uh, rear plot. So this patio here where my camera is swinging faces east. So it's, uh, so it's east over here, that is north, and that is west over here. So a really nice sunny outlook. And uh, we'll do the garden at the end, but come with me as I take you into the house. So as we come in to the property, we come to what is a very nice big entrance hall. Loads of space here for coats and shoes. Um, this here is an addition, this is an extension, one of a number of extensions done on the property by the current owner to give it this wonderful size and uh, it's, it's many bedrooms. So again, given this lovely big hallway and we come here into the sitting room, which is a really nice size got these lovely big windows, open fireplace, typical Edwardian home, big square rooms, high ceilings. And you've got this lovely outlook here over the garden, which again, we'll go into in more detail towards the end of the video. These videos, of course, always trying to give you an idea, a true and real idea of the home, its space. And, and as we come back through the entrance hall, we have this lovely big dining room here, this sort of central room of the house. We call it the dining room. As you can see, it's such a good size. You can have multiple uses for all this space. Big dining table, desk in the corner, and under stairs, a uh, cupboard area, which the owner uses for lots of extra storage. You'll see here you've got um, an extra door out to the patio. Loads of light comes in through this elevation, natural light into the property. Through here, we have the kitchen breakfast room, 
a really big, uh, good size, should I say, uh, almost like a country style kitchen with this really lovely wood burning stove in the side here, which is of course in a, an old house like this in the village is a lovely feature to have, especially in the winter. So you can keep this area lovely and warm uh, without turning the, uh, the heating on, which as we know costs a fortune. Coming through the kitchen, Velux window, giving lots of natural light. And interestingly, just off the kitchen, we have another extension, which has given us a big shower room, fully tiled, big double sized shower. This little sort of utility space here, which I know I'm not doing it any justice, a boiler in the corner. And off this door is a double bedroom. So of course, this is a really handy space if you've got, I don't know, teenage kids, or you've got mum, dad visiting, or family coming to visit often. They've got that separate bedroom and bathroom on the ground floor off the kitchen but they've got their own sort of little part to the house, really. So it's a much bigger house than you may initially think when you see the front shot. So that is the ground floor. And as we come upstairs, we come to this really lovely double bedroom here really good size again big boxy square rooms high ceilings all that edwardian charm and you get a really nice overview of the garden here and the homes you can see at the back there that is wheatsheaf lane and it is just off wheatsheaf lane where wheatsheaf lane meets hatchgate lane where you can access Bluntswood, which is a very fast walk to the top of uh, Harlands Road, which then becomes Havers Heath Mainline Rail Station. So down through the hall, we've got another bedroom here, which is good size, easily a nice double bedroom. Come through here into a really lovely refitted family bathroom all recently redone. With a separate bath and you'll see the shower over with this glass screen. And the owner wanted me to point out, which I think is a very sensible thing to say, is that this glass screen is very easily removable. Uh, the lady here, her children have all sort of grown up now, but we're aware that people may be wanting to see this house who have the young, you know, younger kids uh, this glass screen is easily uh, just screwed in, basically. You can just take it out, causing no damage at all to give you, obviously, a much easier access to the bath panel, uh, bath unit itself. But it's really nice and stylish, that bathroom. And at the end of this hallway, we come to another good-sized double bedroom. So remember, the house has got five bedrooms in total, as one of the rooms is in the attic. And up we go to the attic. So as we go up the stairs onto the second floor, we are greeted with a really good sized space up here. Little area, area to the right where you've got a little bit of hanging and uh, drawers. And then this space on the left here. So the current owner uses it more as a study, really, as a, as a working room. But you've got a bed in here, so it could easily be uh, a really great sort of kids den or bedroom up here this of course technically is bedroom number five um, a really really good size home and come with me as we go all the way back down and i'll give you a very good look of that lovely garden okay so coming back out the main entrance back into that uh, large patio on the side of the house where we first came in just again just giving you a really good idea of the plot here and what it entails. So leading off the patio, we come down into this lovely big expanse of lawn. As I mentioned, it's kind of mostly sort of west facing as the sun's starting to come around now. It's just about late lunch at the moment. Really good 
as I say, expanse of lawn, the number of little vegetable plots and apple trees, etc., in the corner. It's really nice um, oak built uh, sort of garden room, I suppose. It's a great space for potting or reading. And at the bottom of the garden, you have gated access into, uh, as I mentioned earlier, Wheat Sheaf Lane. So instead of, if you wanted to walk out towards Bluntswood and obviously quickly walk to the station, instead of walking out the front of the house, you'd walk out the back of the property and down this track here, turn right, right again, and you're at the entrance of Bluntswood. So you could not be better located for Haywards Heath Station walking if you wanted to also live in uh, Cookfield. So a really, really convenient spot, super close to the high street schools and the station. And we'll end this video nicely, just with me showing you the rear elevation of the property. Again, a big, handsome Edwardian house, been very well looked after by the owner who's been here over 20 years, multiple extensions, really good sized plot, tucked away spot in central Cookfield, a real, real lovely home. And if you've got any further questions or want to know more about this house, do give Mansell McTaggart in Cookfield a call. Many thanks.